to build new life in 180 days. Alrighty, that's the transfer tile. All right, we'll let this propagate and then we'll start it up. Okay, folks, uh, we did it. Uh, uh, T minus zero. Uh, uh, grandchildren for the ancestor. That was the goal since June, July. Uh, lots to talk about. Let's just get going. Uh, uh, where are we? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, first off, grandchildren for the ancestor. Here was the overall timeline. We actually stuck through it pretty well, uh, assuming that we can ditch the simulated evolution stretch goal. Had a typo in there the whole time, but now uh, we're one day later. Uh, um, and a lot, you know, a lot of this stuff doesn't work as well as calling it all green really might imply, but we'll talk about it. So the goal for today, grandchildren for the ancestors on the T2 tiles, that's exactly what we just saw. Uh, uh, even though the very first uh, reproduction by the ancestor had one failure and one live birth, uh, that uh, right daughter went on to uh, uh, produce two more uh, um, copies of the ancestor code. And there's a bunch of wild stuff uh, uh, that we'll take a look at a little bit in a minute. And so, yeah, uh, had, some, had some pretty good fun. Uh, 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 um, but I said all along that I was going to, I felt a little confidence about being able to do this because I was willing to cheat as necessary. So the what I mainly want to talk about it here is the kind of cheats I did have to make and the kind of cheats I didn't have to make in order to get it to work. Uh, so that's the cheat report. So first I want to have a bunch of disclaimers. So Ancestor 1312, that's version 3, subversion 2 in, you know, Lex Limited. So is Ancestor 1312, is it a von Neumann universal constructor? I mean, that's sort of the holy grail. I mean, it's it's been achieved uh, in the land of synchronous, deterministic, ka-chunk, ka-chunk kind of stuff. Um, but uh, I want to say what we have here, what we just saw, is absolutely not a universal constructor because it's not clear what universal really means. Uh, you're supposed to be able to make anything, but how big is anything? The way 1312 is designed, it does all of its building during its reproductive cycle uh, inside the diamond uh, grid, a and <clears throat> that is very finite. So you can only build things like that. So I don't even want to play in the universal constructor game, and I want to say what exactly universal machine is uh, a little bit unclear. Is it a von Neumann style self-replicator? Yeah, it absolutely is. It's legit. Uh, uh, so how do we evaluate it if we can't evaluate it on universality? 
quality, I want to apply the strict Lego quality theory. This is a theory I made up. And the key question for strict Lego quality theory is how many different kinds of parts does it use? And so if you could build something out of just one kind of part, you know, the four by two white Lego brick, and you could just have zillions of those, then your cheat level would be extremely low. One piece. On the other hand, uh, the notorious... <laughs> <laughs> Millennium Falcon kit uh, that has, I, I looked at the webpage this morning, it has, as far as I can tell, over 650 different kinds of parts, uh, uh, including all kinds of little nubbles and nubbles, and it has a sheet of stickers that counts as one part. This is like total cheating. So, where does Ancestor 1312 fall on the strict Lego quality cheat spectrum? Well, it doesn't do very well. Uh, for one thing, we've got uh, 208 classes. So, you know, Ulam, the language it's written in, is an object-oriented language. You define classes to do stuff. Uh, we've got 200, over 200 classes. And by contrast, in the synchronous deterministic universe of traditional cellular automata, the von Neumann universal constructor that's out there by, uh, is at 29 states. And a Ulam class is considerably more powerful than a state in a state table. And so, you know, they're not really comparable because I wasn't trying to minimize the number of Ulam classes. I was trying to make the code understandable so that I could get the engineering done and actually get this stuff to work. Uh, I have a whole bunch of complaints, uh, uh, other things that are, so the zombies, you know, if the, if the reproduction fails, if we don't manage to get code inside it, don't you think it would be nice if the grid would just like pop? Well, but it didn't because it came from before when it used to be the case that there was no code, so they were floating around. So we need to redefine some of the underlying physics uh, to do better. And my biggest sin was the cell division process, which, you know, worked sometimes and not sometimes, uses a timer, uses timers to decide how far to go. And one of the things I learned is you should never use timers. You're in a state of sin if you use timers in a deterministic system. In, in Sorry, in a distributed system, in a deterministic system, who cares? Uh, uh, in a distributed system, what you want to do is have some signal set out in the world that becomes visible to you when it's your when you can go on to your next step and you make signals that are visible to others so that they can tell when they can go on to the next step and so nobody has to just sit there and go one thousand two thousand three and then go but cell division uses timers uh, uh complex instruction set so blah, blah 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 bunch of stuff but again the fundamental aspect of it is right okay open-endedness and robustness so we got grandchildren for the ancestors. So officially speaking, uh, I am not ashamed. <laughs> we adopted this six month uh, target and we made it. Uh, uh, well, what happens next? So uh, part two, we'll take a look at it, is uh, as of up to this past midnight, uh, just what's happening on the grid. It's still going. So let's take a look. There's some wild shit in here. <laughs> Successes. Side-by-side -side births, adjacent hotel uh, hospital beds, one uh, one zombie though. It's always the left daughter uh, because of that's just the way the geometry works, or at least under normal circumstances. Let's see what's coming up here though. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, uh. That diamond got a whole chunk of it chopped off, and then it healed itself. Same thing happened down here. Uh, um, it healed itself, and then it went on to reproduce. Uh, can you believe that? So this this guy down here, he was half sliced off. Uh, um, then, uh, and there's another half sliced off bit. Uh, um, he healed up, he reproduced, and now he's having kids. She's having kids. Uh, they're having kids. Mostly now, they've grown until they're locked up against the edge of the universe. The same sort of thing we saw uh, uh, with the zombies. 
Except now, when somebody pops, the space gets available. The space gets taken. So, you know, this is... I never saw any of this in the simulator because I never let it run long enough. Uh, I never had things reproducing as close to each other as they could possibly and so forth. The cell division me me mechanism is quite strong. It's quite powerful. If it sees hard cell three, it's going to go and cut through it until it doesn't see it anymore and then it evaporates. So if it gets close enough to a neighboring uh, a grid, a neighboring diamond, it can just do what we saw. So all of that was, in a sense, free robustness. Okay, Living Computation Foundation. First off, welcome to our newest Living Computation Foundation nerd, Francesco, uh, LCFN250. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. In the publication divisions, I, I'm bringing this up because uh, I am really itching to write more English, and that um, potentially competes with writing Ulam or Splat or, or code in general. There's just only so many hours in the day. Uh, uh, so I don't know exactly how that comes out, but it's going to be an issue going forward in 2023. Uh, hoping to publish uh, Companionate Caring, uh, my dad's manuscript, in February. We'll see if that happens. Okay, and next steps for the T2 Tile project, finally. Uh, um, First off, uh, got to write up Ancestor 1312. It won't be Ancestor 1312. I'm currently on 1315, and we'll be down the road from there by the time we lock it down to do experiments for publication. Uh, but write this up somewhere. The inside track would be the Artificial Life Conference, A Life 23, which is going to be in Hokkaido this year. I would not be able to be going in person, but it's a hybrid conference. Uh, uh, or perhaps submit papers somewhere else. Uh, I am pushing the cadence for T Tuesday updates back to the first T Tuesday of every month. <sighs> it's, it's sort of hard for me to believe that I did weekly uh, uh, for as long as I did. And even bi-weekly is feeling, you know, on the one hand, I feel like I'm kind of trained at this point. I, I do want to get the work done. I'm feeling that, you know, there's not a lot of time and a lot of stuff I want to do. So the, 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 We'll see. We'll see. I think a monthly cadence hopefully uh, will be a little bit more easy to manage and have a slightly higher quality stuff. Uh, can go a little deeper and a little less of the, you know, midnight before the assignment is due. We'll see. And then there is this question. Uh, do, you know, so we're done uh, with grandchildren for the ancestor. Check. Mission accomplished. Uh, 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 do we want to adopt a major development challenge uh, for 2023? If so, what would it be? I know what it would be. It would be uh, taking, building on what we've got here, these individual little cells that are capable of reproduction and motion and all of this stuff, and figure out ways to let them communicate with each other, signal between them, and do multicellular system control of some sort. And it would be even unbelievably much more slow. Uh, uh, and take unbelievably much more uh, hardware to do the simplest task. But again, that's the point of the demo. Write more English and write more Dave Ackley channel videos. People have been asking for it over there, and I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Uh, um, in addition, or instead of, that's the thing. So I'm, I'm not sure how much to be the main focus to keep pushing on the T2 tile code base for now hesitate to say for now there that feels like a rationalization i don't know well so we'll see so that's it uh, the next uh, t tuesday update will be on february 7th the first tuesday in february uh, uh my goals are to kill zombies i've gotten th that somewhat better uh, um but also structurally change the physics and get get the ancestor to do more cool stuff think about r d whether to do it and have a little bit of fun every day. Folks, thank you so much for dropping in to check it out. Happy New Year, and uh, hope you have a good year. I hope to see you next time.